Today we are going to see a very intuitive proof to fundamental the theorem of calculus. We have a function that we call f of x whose graph is this blue line and we are going to define a new function that we are going to call uppercase f of x and we are going to define that function, that new function, in the following way. Capital F of x is defined as the area included in this region. The region under the function lowercase f of x, the vertical line for the coordinate x, and the coordinate axis, the positive side of the coordinate axis. So this is the origin, 0, 0, and we define uppercase f of x as a function giving us the area included in this region. And now we are going to find the derivative of f of x, of uppercase f of x. Let's start by adding an increment to the variable x and finding the value for f of uppercase f of x plus h. H that can be approximated by f of x on this area plus the area of this rectangle. So, uppercase f of x plus h is approximately, it's not exact, approximately f of x, all this area, plus the area of this narrow rectangle, assuming that h is a small quantity. And the area of this rectangle would be the width times height. So it will be the width is h and height it will be f not this time is lowercase f of x plus h. So f of x plus h times h. So we have that. Now, this comes to the other sign of the equal sign. In this case, it's not equal, it's an approximate sign. In the same way, h comes to the other side, is multiplying this side of the approximate sign, so it comes to the other side by dividing the whole thing. When we take the limit, limit when h tends to zero, limit when h tends to zero, the approximate sign is going to become an equal sign. We will see why. We see how h is becoming smaller and smaller. And when h becomes smaller, 
f of x plus h becomes closer to f of x. The rectangle becomes narrower and narrower, so this becomes more and more equal. The smaller h becomes, the more equal this sign becomes. Now when h gets to zero, when h becomes zero, the approximate sign becomes an equal sign. This becomes the der derivative of uppercase F of X and this when H is 0 becomes simply F of X. So we have that the derivative of this function uppercase F of X defined in the following in this way as the, the area included in this region is the function lowercase f of x. That's the fundamental theorem of calculus.